All right, let's go over how to draw a word in two-point perspective. We will do the word drawing. There's seven letters in that word, so I need seven blocks. And I've lined my ruler up horizontally on this piece of paper. I'm going to put a dot on both sides of the very edge of the paper. And I want to do this word below the horizon line. So the horizon line would connect those two dots. I'm going to put one vertical line right in the middle. I'll make that line about two inches. Put a dot on the top and the bottom. And now I just want to connect those dots. Now you need to draw lightly because you'll do a lot of erasing. I'm going to draw dark so you can see it. I'm connecting the top and the bottom of that vertical line to the vanishing point on the right and on the left. Okay, now I'm going to make the first block. And let's say I'll measure an inch and a half over on both sides. And then draw a vertical line on both sides. And that defines my first block. And now what I need to do is the top of those vertical lines. I'll go to the vanishing point on the opposite side. And not only have I created my first block, but I've created what will be all of my other blocks. By drawing those lines on the back, that's the back of the other blocks I'm going to draw. So each time I draw another vertical line, it's going to get a little bit closer. It'll be a little bit closer to the one in front of it because as these recede into the distance, we want them to look like they're farther away. Okay, now I'm going to connect the top of all of those vertical lines with the back of the block by drawing towards the vanishing point on the opposite side. Okay, now we will do the word drawing. So I'm going to start over here and just sketch in my letters. I think it's a good idea. I'll measure, this was two inches, I'm gonna measure the middle. It's a good idea to lightly put a line through the middle of this. It just helps you with your letters. It's like when you were in elementary school learning how to write and you had a piece of paper like that to help you with your penmanship. So that middle line helps you know where the middle of your letter should be. So now I can do an R here, and I know it's going to curve until it hits that middle line. Come down straight. I'll put a triangle right here. Right above that, I'll start that little inlet. Now this and this right here, those are horizontal lines. So those, let me just check and make sure, those should go to the vanishing point as well. Okay, I'll do the A here. I'm going to sketch it in first. And the A has some horizontal lines on it, so I need to make sure that they go towards the vanishing point. The w is just a lot of triangles. Make that a little bit bigger. Now this is one block right here. So a lot of times I, uh, people would put the I right here, but that's actually the side of the W. So we're gonna skip over here, lightly sketch in the I. Make sure those lines go to the vanishing point on the right side now. So whatever's on the front of the block, if it's on the right side of the paper, the front of the block goes to the right vanishing point. If it's on the left side, the front will go to the left. G is a little bit tricky. It's going to be pretty small too. Okay, got my letter sketched in. I'm just going to Darken in a few lines here. Make sure these are nice and straight up and down. 
and I can start to do the sides of each letter. Okay, on the front of these I went to the vanishing point that corresponded with, with the side of the paper they were on, so left to the left. Now to do the sides of these I'll go to the vanishing point on the opposite side, which is the right. Okay, anytime there's a curve on a letter you want to line your ruler up with the vanishing point and swing it up until it hits that curve. And then I'll draw until I hit the letter next to it because that's going to be behind the R. And for this D, the only other thing I need to do, if you look right here, the D comes out, starts to curve down about the middle. So I'll go straight across here and start to curve down. You've got to remember the back is the same as the front. This is a block. We're carving out this letter. The back of the block is the same as the front. And I didn't even do the inside of the D, so I'll do that now. I'll make sure that's going to the vanishing point on the bottom and on the top. And there's a corner there, so from that corner, I'll draw to the vanishing point, just like that. Now I'll do the R. There's a little corner right there. I'm looking for all the corners where I would see a line. I'm going to draw the line. Okay, same thing on this R here, about halfway over, it starts to curve down, so in the back, about halfway over, I'm just going to start to curve and stop when I hit the next letter. And this letter, we're going to go from the top left corner of the A. It takes a big chunk of that block out, which I can now erase. And by erasing that, it's going to expose more of the R. So I can go ahead and draw a line all the way over until it hits the A. And this curve will come down a little bit more until it hits that A. Okay, that's part one. Going to stop it and we'll move on to part two.